Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. I'm going to be live tonight, Monday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come for the collective reading and ask questions. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for Aries. How is Aries coming to the reading? Four of Pentacles, closed down, holding on to grudges, hurt, pain, deep-seated issues, maybe stuck, stagnant. And um, I heard like maybe you're not in the place you want to be. And this could be like a physical place. Like maybe you're not in the home you want to be in. You feel like something is, is stuck here. You feel like you're stuck. Um, like there is no opportunity for growth. You could be saving for a large purchase, holding on to your money, holding on to your resources also. Let's see what's going on for Aries. How is Aries coming? Okay. The King of Pentacles, you could have an energy around you who has a lot of money, lots of growth, or you embarking on that. Yeah. The, the star card. So it's like, you. okay. So this is friends or help or something like that. Yeah. Ace of wands. It's like, if you reach out, yeah, the high priestess, this also could be like, um, extramarital affair. Okay. And somebody wants you to continuously engage with them. It could be that you guys have taken a break. You're on a break separation. You're estranged right now, but this person wants you back and they're finding you really desirable right now because they haven't had you. Um, some of you are working from home where you're just putting a lot of energy into your work. Maybe your independent work. Um, if you do work like independent contractor, then it's like, yeah, you are the star of your work or everything revolves around you. It's like, you have to do everything or it's, it's very independent work. It's not like, oh, I'm an independent contractor, but I work with a group of people and we all work together to make it this project, you know, work. No, it's not like that. It's like, um, you know, I'm an independent contractor. I, you know, I go and evaluate homes, you know, appraisal. I'm go so most times you're going by yourself, you know, and it all depends on you, how you appraise, how you evaluate, how you look at things. And, um, yeah, you are the star of whatever it is you do. Okay. There's a lot of people looking up to you too. You could be a very wise old soul. Um, there's an inner knowing with inside, you know, inside of you here. Um, there even could be like a spiritual connection. Um, you need to express your emotions, your thoughts freely. All right. Let's see. Um, how does the person that Aries is coming to the reading for? How do they feel? The death card, the queen of wands. So they feel like their relationship is either ending, has ended or was transitioning maybe into another dynamic. We're just friends or friends with benefits or we don't talk at all. Or they feel like maybe you have um, moved on. You set your sights on something else. Um, you've gained clarity about something. Yeah, the queen of swords. I mean, sorry, the king of swords. So they feel like, um, yeah, you've, you uh, making a head over heart decision. Yeah, your heart was in it, but it's like um, they see you as a, being strategic, being better. Yeah. Like you see, you see past this, they see that uh, they feel like you are envisioning more and you, that you're ignoring them, uh, not acknowledging their effort. Um, they feel like you're the one that's getting away or has gotten away. They feel like they want to come in with a destructive influence to kind of pull you back in. This could be like sex. They want you as an option. This is how your person feels. They want to fight for the connection. Yeah. They want things to be back how they used to be, the status quo. You know, some, some of these people want to promote you, make it balanced and fair. They want to have a romantic night with you. Maybe they regret, you know, the wrongdoing 
They want to come out of missing you and not being not being close. They want to forgive or they want your forgiveness and they want to work together. Somebody's real fearful and stuck in their ways. It could be you, Aries. Let's see what the advice is for you. Let's see what the advice is for Aries. What is the advice for Aries? All right, six of wands. Choose you. Walk away from this whole cheating debacle, this whole scandalous affair type of energy if that's what you're engaged in. Maybe cut off communication. Put more energy, effort, time, love into you. Yeah, four of cups. Reject or turn down and find happiness, nine of cups, by yourself. On this soul journey, you'll find someone, your perfect partner. And you'll be able to come out of karmic situations, especially if you start to really live in your worth and know what you're deserving of and cut off old people, ways, mindsets and, and start healthy. Do something, engage in connections that start off healthy, truthful, honest, and have a high level of consistency. Yeah. That's what I uh, have for you, Aries. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there. You can also um, ask one question by booking your one question, one answer on the website. Catch me live tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys, many blessings to you.